Hi, my name is Madison. I am a uh, cartographer at Mapbox. But long before that, um, in high school, I took my first uh, GIS course and AP Human Geography. And then I accidentally majored in geography at UC Berkeley. And um, throughout that entire time, uh, I was incredibly uncomfortable with um, coding or anything that wasn't an essay. And I'm going to tell you everything I wish I could have told my professors. So my first confession is that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. You are showing all these beautiful maps on the projectors, and I want to make those maps, but I, I, I don't know how. Um, and to prove it, this is the very first map I made when I believe I was about 15 years old. Um, yes, you can please laugh at all the atrocities. Break it down as much as you can. Um, but what I would like to point out to you as probably what I think is the worst is that um, the title, location of what should be business, um, <laughs> and where this marker is pointing, um, it doesn't really tell you kind of what this map is about other than you know that there is some sort of density and that location ought to be there. Uh, this is the first web map that I made, um, a simple leaflet map with uh, markers and pop-ups. Uh, took me about a little over three hours um, simply because I didn't know what I was doing. And this is the first data set that I came up with um, it was only supposed to show you where I was, where I was and where I was looking at colleges, but instead I showed you everywhere I went for about two years. <laughs> so I believe that you should connect the why and the how when making a map and when teaching students how to make maps before you give them a task of actually making a map, before throwing them into Mapbox or Esri or QGIS, have them sit down and write out why they're making this map and how to make it step by step. There's a much different process to explain it than to actually click buttons around and hope that it works. My second confession is that I am copying and pasting. Um, this comes largely from coding. Um, you give me documentation or examples, I will take it verbatim into it and not have an understanding. Um, that, the comfort zone, is where I am, where the magic happens, all the beautiful maps that people are coming up with is far, far away from me. What I believe that classes should actually be structured like um, a kind of overlap, allow students to still be comfortable well, and make goals achievable for students so that it's not so far off and that so the products um, and the like maps that they're coming out with are the expectations um, that they have in the first place. <coughs> Uh, so when I taught uh, web cartography at Berkeley, and when a student would raise their hand and say, hey, my code is broken, I don't know what to do, um, I wouldn't ask them for the steps that they went through to produce the map. Instead, I would have them sit down with me and go line by line of their code. I wanted to make sure they understood exactly what was going on in their code. And oftentimes, uh, they'd be, they would just read the code, and they'd be able to find it out themselves. Um, when you have a student who is much more... Um, familiar with essays, you wouldn't tell them just to skip the introduction paragraph and only the body matters in the same way that you wouldn't tell someone to skip um, either the package lock or the head header of an HTML file. Cool. And my third confession is that it would be extremely hard for me to do this without the class instructions. Uh, so kind of an example, if you told me to make a map, um, which I've had in industry with customers or with managers, just um, sending out like a Slack message, hey, can you make an earthquake map by 12 o'clock? Uh, those are the sorts of instructions that I get now. Rather than in school, I have several pages telling me exactly how I, the map ought to look and what to do. So I propose having an open-ended assignment for your students. Allow them to find data, clean it themselves, and then put it on a map. It was something that they are much more passionate about and want to make, and also you have to write a lot less instructions. <laughs> Cool. So if I haven't convinced you um, through those three confessions, I just want to remind you what my first map looked like and now the maps that I make. Oh. So thank you. I have become from, from a nervous student to a nervous cartographer. Thank you.